third stop for the Champions Tour on Gold Lake. Uh, I'm having a rough year, kind of. I'm sitting on the bubble for making the championship. I gotta have a good tournament tomorrow or I'm not going to Serpent. This is the last one of our qualifiers. I'm right on the bubble. I'm in 23rd place. I think I've got maybe four points in that, I'm, that I have to maintain to get into this. My goal is just the top half. Unfortunately, sitting in 26th bubble boy position, this is, seems very similar the last couple of years. So this feels all too eerie right now that I'm right there on the bubble. Uh, practice has been hit or miss out here for me. One day is good, one day is bad. Uh, today was horrible. You can barely catch a keeper, so I don't know how it's gonna shake out. All I know is I gotta catch them. Practice has been kind of up and down, you know, catching fish here and there, but haven't found that magical spot yet. Cow! You know, Gull Lake and I have some great history for a five fish um, tournament, but in this event, we're looking for numbers. So what I'm gonna try and do is um, find some good shallow water um, schools of bass. I didn't have the greatest luck out deep. <clears throat> it's very important for me to try and capitalize on a fish every 10 minutes. I'm coming out here. This is kind of a home lake to me, but there's a curse with me here on Gull. Great practices, terrible finishes on game day. So I'm hoping to at least change that, get a top 15, something top teens, just so I can sit there comfortably and make championship. Yeah, you know, my mental state for this tournament is is definitely fishing to win. Uh, you know, some people want to play it safe. I'm going to just play every hour, fish the conditions, and if the docks aren't going, the docks aren't going. If the deep bite's going, the deep bite's going. Uh, I'm not here to take 20th place. I'm not here to stay, you know, 15th or make a check. But I'm going to swing for the fence like I did that one year I was on the bubble. I'm not going to go out there and just try to catch some fish and get some points. I'm going to swing for the fence and I figure with that mindset, if you're fishing to win, that if you fall short, you know, you'll still have a good tournament, hopefully, and hopefully that'll be good enough to get me into the championship. I think you always got to kind of swing for the fence. I mean, even if you're just trying to make points, you got to go against these guys. Uh, if you're just trying to kind of hang on, it's not going to work against uh, a field like this, and especially this format. You got to catch fish, so you're always swinging. My goal is just the top half. Then I'll make the championship, which is a huge deal. Everyone who makes the championship, top 25. We all fish for a, like a brand new Skeeter, Yamaha boat, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota trolling motor. It's all rigged, it's amazing. It's a free entry tournament for us if we qualify, so it's a big deal. And this tournament series, that's what it's all about. It's um, about making that final event and becoming a hero when it, when it counts. I've won two out of the three in the last three years. I've been very fortunate. I would love the chance to fish for another one. I would love to win another one, but I mean, odds of that are happening are probably slim to none. I gotta make it there first. Making the championship for the Champions Tour means a lot to me. I mean, this is the only um, tournament series in Minnesota, at least that I'm aware of, where you have the opportunity to fish for a boat. So that's the goal every year is to make that championship, to give yourself the opportunity to go against these guys and possibly win a new Skeeter boat, which is unbelievable. What we're going to see, I think the story is going to be that qualifying bubble because there's a whole bunch of guys in that the last 10 spots and the following 10 spots that are going to be one fish is maybe going to make the difference in this. And your choice of where to go, and based on how this lake split is, you know, if you've got fish going way up north, you might burn 30 minutes on idle time in the no wake zones. That 30 minutes might cost you two bites. Someone else gets sticking close into this lake, and that two fish might be the difference between you making the championship or not. I want to be a player for, for that boat, a Skeeter boat package. Um, ha. You know, there aren't too many circuits out there uh, in the country that'll offer a boat. <clears throat> and especially in Minnesota, this is the only one. So let's, let's make it happen. Let's, let's make it a reality. Glenn is going to do a mass email to all you guys with pictures. Okay. The split of the lake is going to be right here at Squaw Point, the very end buoy. And you'll see in the picture, it kind of cuts to the northwest to that other shore. So that line from the tip of the buoy from Squaw Point across to the west shore, you'll see the picture. From there, south in the morning. And there's another split all the way to the north end, the slow buoy going into the Little Lakes, the first slow buoy at Booming Out Bay. Okay, that is your line. Anything south of Squaw Point, 
or you may go north to the slope, first slow zone to Zorba's and all the way up. Margaret, Roy, Niswa, Upper Gulf. You may go back and forth, but you may not fish in the middle of the lake, but you can travel through it. Second half, you have the whole main lake for the second half. Good morning, it's Scott Bonham with the Champions Tour. On behalf of Classic Bass, we want to thank you guys for following with us this year. We are standing on shores of Gold Lake, one of the finest fisheries in the entire state of Minnesota. There's a lot on the line today. We have 50 anglers vying for the top 25 spots, $12,000 for first place. It's gonna be a big day. The weather conditions are a little bit crazy. We thought it was gonna be flat calm this morning. It's not, it's blowing a little bit, but the guys are gonna have a great opportunity to catch fish today. The lake has really been showing off the last few weeks. I expect the same thing to happen today. We'd appreciate it if you'd follow along today with the Real Live Well app. If you're unfamiliar with it, download it. That allows you to follow along with all the anglers, see their catches, watch where they're standing, and follow them live throughout the day. We expect it to be kind of a barn burner today. I think this afternoon we're gonna see a lot of flip flopping because there's a lot of big fish and they're catching them really good. Follow along, the final stop, Champions Tour, Gull Lake, Minnesota. Still early. Seems like it's slow, so I don't know if I should leave or just kind of keep poking around. God, it's slow. I figured people would be lighting them up this morning. It tells me I just gotta take my time, meander around, <laughs> look for a bite here and there. I want a jig. Oh, come on, my fingers keep slipping. <laughs> That'll work. Just wanted a jig, I guess. Two seven. Two seven. That'll work. Just catching them just enough to keep me here. I always keep wondering, is the grass greener down over there? Probably should just keep poking around. I can see them down there, meandering around. They will mega live. They're sitting right off the edge. It's like you can see them kind of out here. These are, these are fish. You see right here? Those are the fish sitting right off the edge. But they're hard to get to bite. You throw and you throw and you throw at them and nothing, and you pick up a different lure and you get bit in the first cast just like that, and I'll throw and throw and throw and nothing, and I'll pick up a different rod, and then you catch one right away, and then nothing. There we go, finally one. I think they'll go. One six. One six. Good. Boom. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, we're out here just fishing deep breaks, deep coontail. Right now, I've been mostly throwing a jig worm, chartreuse head, four inch stick on it, and just really just kind of popping it around. That, I've tried laying it, that was the best in practice, but today it seems like the more aggressive the better. Just found, got a couple schools along here. Had one back there fired up pretty good this morning. Dumped a, oh, I just had a bite right there. But I dumped, dumped one back there and right after I lost him, he um, shut off the school. So I moved up a little bit, caught, caught a couple more. Just caught him recently here, so yeah, just working. 
working along the break here is throwing a throwing a standard jig worm when i found these fish uh last time i caught a couple here yesterday left but i've been catching them here during the day i didn't know how it was going to be in the morning and uh right now it's been seeming to play off pretty good so hopefully once the sun comes out and it gets warmer out that school fires up more um but we just gotta see what happens been a fun morning so far some more for now. Steady is uh, about the best way I can describe it. I honestly thought there was no way in heck we were going to be able to start here so we pulled around the corner and I got pretty excited and uh, that waiting till seven o'clock thing is like the longest five minutes of my life by the way. Um, but no this format is super humbling, super fun and uh, we're out bass fishing today so you really can't complain. This is uh, Mason's first time marshalling and we're having, we're having a good time so far. He's a future champions tour. He might win a boat someday, I'm gonna call it. At my rate, you might win one before I do. That'll weigh a pound. Picture. Yep. That's what we call a Gull Lake special right there. Scale. One, three. And off you go. Yeah, I'm doing, so I'm way down there in the points. So going into this one, it's like, we have to smash them. And uh, maybe I need a fish with like a gun to my head. Maybe that's how I do better. Hold it right to my head. You have to catch them. And we're gonna keep trying all day. So we can't anymore. I'm just happy we didn't have to start on docks because if this was busy out here, we'd have been moving real fast this morning. Beautiful Gull Lake fish right there. Wish this one went to the buffet more. Two pounds, eight ounces. That one right there. Hopefully this one gets us back on track. Kind of went on a drought there. But usually once you get one going, usually you can get the rest going. So hopefully, hopefully there's more where she came from. Yeah, so right now, currently sitting in the lead with uh, 20 pounds, six ounces. I don't know how long that'll last. I kind of went on a little drought there, but I think that fish should hopefully get us going. But hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can keep her rolling. It's in the first place right now, about an hour in, and uh, see what we can do. What time is it now, bud? Um, 8.20. 8.20, so 22 out of the penalty. Oh boy, we might have a good one here. Caught a fish, got a penalty. Cast right back in there. Don't, don't get fish. Two, two pounds, two pounds. There we go, now we're starting to, starting to get back on track here. 
fish are right next to the bowl, so that makes it really nice for getting them out of these weeds. Got that bait choked in there. 212. This is absolutely insane right now. All you need, that one got off. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the school. I just made four casts and four fish. This is the kind of schools you can get on the Gull Lake chain right here. Fish this lake for many, many years of my life and this is why I keep coming back. So many, so many of those two and a half to three pound fish out here, it's a lot of fun. And right now, I don't fish the upper lakes a lot, but I do spend a little time up here. And, and right now this is, these are Royal Lake Specials right here. About that two and a half to three pound fish. And if you wanna, if you just wanna go catch a hunter bass, this is the place to do it. Up north here, we're up by Nisswa right now. And right now it's been, made the long run. I didn't quite know what I was gonna do for sure at takeoff, but decided to make the run. And so far it seems to be paying off. I knew, again in the morning, I knew if I ran up here, I'd give myself a good shot in the morning just from what I saw in practice and right now it's really been paying off. About a 35 minute run up here, timed it out this morning. And um, so we gotta leave a, a little earlier, but as you can tell right now, look at that leaderboard, really glad I did so. Oh no, okay. Everybody ready? Yep. Dang, penalty. <sighs> Picture. Scale. Here, I'm gonna hold it. Hold the scale. Where that pencil went? Oh, found it. We got two six. Yep. Count it. Two six on the board. Just crushed an all-terrain jig. He missed it. He gave me a second shot. That or we're about to catch another one. 835. I can fish again. I'm in the penalty box. I'm glad I did that though, because that fish came off right in my lap. So we might have lost her hand landing it. How are we looking? Got some ground to make up. We're about two hours into the morning session. Kind of a tale of the split so far. We did a little bit different split this year. The guys can go south or they can go all the way north. Right away on the leaderboard this morning on the real live well, the guys down south, they actually, everybody can't, nobody can start fishing until seven, but the guys down south, they got on their water sooner. They didn't have as long of a run and they rocketed it up right away as we kind of expected. As the guys got far up north and we're talking way up north, there's a lot of slow zones, little lakes. It's about a 45 minute run up there, but Tyler Barr just lit them up there good. Right now, it seems like the lower end of the lake is starting to calm down. It's getting a little quiet, but there's some guys up north that are continuing to catch them up in these little lakes up here. But we're making the run up. We're in the slow zones right now, getting up there to go find them. But it's uh, a tale of the two splits and the timing of where you gotta be and when. Now the guys up north, they gotta account for that ride all the way back home because they gotta be back at 11 before we switch to the second half for the afternoon session. Might be one of the better ones of the day. Oh, good. I like that. Looks like your tail of a little crappie right there. Another two pounder. Two pounds, six ounces.
Uh, the morning's going a little better than we thought. We're, um, I was kind of nervous with that lake split. I thought there'd be a lot more people down here. And I actually found a couple areas to fish. So we've been just kind of flipping weed lines and found a little school and was able to pick a couple off there and slowed down a little bit. So now we're on to our next one. But yeah, my goal coming into the day was top 10. There's one. Good luck, camera guy. What the what? You're staying in the boat. One, six. One, six, all right. As long as we can keep this going, we'll be sitting all right. Got it. Sign to make official. Yeah, so the goal was to, I'm sitting right on the bubble right now. So my goal was to get in the top 10 to kind of leave no question that I'll make it to the championship next week. Cause I missed last year and that hurt. That hurt bad. Gonna be close. Be a pound. All right, we hold the scale up a little bit there. Oh, yes! Yes! That one pound excitement, baby. Got it. This one's got some meat on her. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. They eating the jig. It's go lake. Let's go. Two pounds, four ounces. That is what you call a go lake special, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the water. Just beautiful specimens. We're putting these fish right back in the water. Don't need to drag them around in the ammonium filled wells all day. Catch it, baby. It was a big decision to run up here to the north side. And uh, I saw nine boats take off this way. So I think I was the tenth boat. And I was afraid that I only had four spots on this lake. But I was lucky enough the guy started here, but I had one spot over there that was still open. So uh, first fish was like the third cast and uh, I reeled it too tight and it got off. So I thought I was gonna have a bad day, but then they continued to bite and I've run my four spots multiple times now and I've gotten bit each spot every time. Coming on. All right, we're ready. All right, let's go over two. Two six. Got a picture. Got a picture. Yeah, you're good. The morning's been trying, really. We we started out, and I thought we were going to do really good this morning. I was looking forward to the overcast, cloudy bite, and it just didn't go. We caught four mediocre ones, missed a couple, and scrambled around. And boy, it, it has just been tough, but. Uh, just recently here in the last half hour, we landed on some uh, two schools of them. We busted five right behind the boat and then got, oh, I don't know, six or seven of them right here. And it's been a fun little half an hour and we made a charge and we're in third place right now. So uh, feeling good about it and going to keep trying to make some hay while I can. There he is. Big one. Come on, baby. Yeep! That's the kinds that we're talking about right there. Go Lake, woo! 11. It's almost a penalty. There we go.
currently sitting in first place with uh, 48 pounds, four ounces at the end of the first half. Um, running up north was kind of a really last minute decision for me. I didn't really fully decide until we're at takeoff. I wanted to see how many boats ran south compared to north. I did really good up north there in practice. I've spent a lot of time up there in the past. But um, it was a time commitment I knew in a four hour half makes it tough making a 30 minute commit. But we decided to do it. We ran up there and it really paid off. We had uh, two really big schools that we focused on um, up in the North Lakes. And uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling in the second half here. Main Lake Gulls, where I spend most of my time fishing this lake. Grew up fishing this lake. I, everything I know about bass fishing I learned on this lake here. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can keep it going. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. It might be a little tougher bite this afternoon with the sun out, but I think it should be a pretty fun, fun half. We just finished up the first half and sitting in second place. And to be honest, this, this format's been really tough to me this year. So going into this, I knew I needed a good event. And this sport and this format, Matt Thompson said it best, it's 90% mental. So today, we went and did what we like to do, fish the way we like to fish, stayed calm, and I've been calming down as the day goes on, but uh, we got a lot of work to do yet going into the second half. I don't know who's in first, but I'm coming for you. Uh, we're entering the second half. Everybody's checking out. We're going to fish the main lake today. Um, the first half of the day was not so hot in the morning, but we found two decent schools there. Uh, got ourselves in third place, so I'm happy about that. Second half, I'm not sure how to feel about it. I, I caught them when we had different weather conditions, so could be good, could be bad. Um, I got a lot of places to fish, so we're just gonna keep a line wet and see how she goes. Oh, big one. <clears throat> there you go. That's why I'm fishing these trees. That's what's been under them. I'm just gonna catch four or five of these and that's gonna go quick. Three fifteen. Three fifteen. Three fifteen. So I fished a couple of these trees in practice. There's they're lining up this whole shoreline. Um, the ones I did fish had fish like these under them. If they all got them, we're gonna move up quick. If they don't have them, I got a bunch of docks that I'm gonna run to. I'm hoping the second half the way the lake is split, I'm hoping it spreads everyone out a little bit better. It looked like a five pounder coming out of there. <laughs> Big mouth. Much better than those dock fish up there. Yeah. By a pound. My head is my head is in the process of the sun I think is driving them offshore. Like I saw Dean Capper out there on a spot that I would have tried to fish on bow tie. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, he's got, I think he's got four fish so far, and I figure he's probably been going offshore all day. And I just don't think the offshore is going, so probably 12 ounces. One, one, two. One, two. You got, got a picture? Got the picture already. All right. Fish going back. Be one of those burners. Oh, he got it. Almost one, one. One pound. One, zero. We'll make it look tiny. 313? 313. Almost 313. Quarter inch, quarter ounce short. 313. He said I only fished like the first two and both of them had four pounders. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not fishing anymore and I drove down the shoreline and I'm like, holy cow, there's tons of them. And as you can see, yeah. unless you're right on top of them, you got the picture? Yeah, I got the picture, yeah. Unless you're right on top of them, you wouldn't know that they're any good. Go. I guess it's worth the wait a couple minutes in between for that. Huh? Yeah. There's gonna be another one up there. This bad boy. There's seven, there's six, there's seven. Three, six. Three, six. Three, six. Three, six. Ah, uh, it's worth surviving. I went to my offshore spot and they were not there, of course. That's how it goes in the Champions Tour. 
So now I'm doing the one thing I dread doing to try to save face, and that's fish ducks. Oh boy. So you're gonna get to hear a lot of clunking today if you're with me. Oh, see? Just gotta find a good stretch, a good little run that's got them on them. Two five. I'm gonna go in the back. This one's gonna put the big one. Got a big old bat on him. Here you go. Yeah, three two for a second. Three one. Won't go three one. Three quarter. Three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Pretty good stretch there, huh? So it's 1.30, uh, the clouds have come out, which is not very good for me. It's slowing things down a little bit, but we're sitting in third place. We got 48 pounds even. Fishing's been consistent, but not uh, no big flurries or anything, but. <sighs> not getting many bites, but enough to keep us in the hunt. Two one, getting there. It's a good day to have a day. It's a bad day to be a bass. I've been saying it all day. And uh, we're just fishing the way we like to fish and, and having fun. We've been uh, staying positive and testing negative. We tested some docks out the first half and got a sniff of one, but just was not happening like you know I had hoped. And then uh, we actually started on some docks this half and they weren't as good as I had really hoped. So we. We kind of just came out and we don't get a lot of bites out here, but the quality is a little bit better. <clears throat> I don't think it was a bite. One thing I'll tell you guys, hook sets, they're free. They cost you nothing. If you're in doubt, set that baby. No, but we've been throwing a half ounce, all terrain tackle, AT jig all day. And uh, I just have not been on the finesse program. So I've just been fishing that that jig a little bit slower and I don't know fishing a jig how I like to fish a jig snapping it through the grass and kind of letting it soak and kind of pulling it through part of the jerkiness is the nerves but you always see me nervous Yeah. Ooh, it's a good one. I didn't know they get the big ones eat this crankbait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Down the throat. Gone. Gone. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. My heart is beating so fast. That's all we needed. Yep. Okay. There's one. Finesse cranking at its finest. We need every bite we can get today, so we'll do what we have to do. Picture, weigh them. One four. One four. Release. Initial. Cast. Repeat. Back to our regular scheduled programming. 
Coming in the second half, I think I was sitting in 23rd place. Uh, I knew the second half was going to be better for me just because from practice, I had this stretch of docks that was literally going in clouds, rain, sun, it didn't matter for me. So I knew coming here, I would be able to pick up some fish. Just so happens that all the big ones have not come in the boat, either snap off under the dock, get hung up in the weeds. So, but I'm at least making some ground, catching a ton of one pounders and the occasional two pounder doing this. But um, I'm gonna keep grinding it out on the docks for the rest of this, this PM period hoping I can get just a couple key quality two to three pound bites to keep in that top 10 today. I believe I'm sitting in eighth right now. I could be wrong. There's a fish right there. I don't know if it'll help. It's gonna be right there. Probably like, maybe it's, come on, it's right there. It's like a one pounder probably. One, one, woo! <laughs> Like I said, just keep keep the one pounders coming. We'll raise up the charts. It's literally been that day for me on the, on the in the first AM. Uh, I lost probably 15 to 18 pounds deep. It was crazy. They were, they were tail walking all morning. Just kept losing them. I mean, legitimately should probably be in top three right now if I didn't have such an unclean morning and a couple bad docks over here, but we are gonna go do what we can do. They're still biting, so we're gonna keep going. We literally went over there for five docks, not a bite. Come back over here, two bites already. Oh, right on the fall. Right on the fall. Good one. Better one. Maybe two pounder. Ah, he's coming out now. Nope, but he'll keep. One, five, one, six. One, six. Man, I'm getting good at this today. <laughs> Thank you, little butterball. Yeah, they're little fat little balls. Every one, I'm like, that's not a pound. Then you get it, and you're like, oh, there's a softball in its belly. Today has been really pressing my nerves <laughs> in terms of what it could have been or should have been, but I gotta keep grinding. I'm on a huge momentum wave right now. I just uh, won TBF State Championship on Vermilion like four weeks ago, and then last week made the top five for the state team for Bass Nation. So this was big for me. I was bubble boy coming into this event, tied for 26th. Uh, last year I was bubble boy at this event too, and I missed by one point for championship. So it's, it's all too similar right now but as long as i feel i can maintain that top 15 there should be no problem with making championship here in a few days but my one downfall in champions tour is i always get to about right here that single digit number in standings or low teens and then the last hour i i dog it so we're trying not to dog it in the last hour and still keep catching some fish we got up. Oh. It's close. I think you're a little off. I think it's a 1 3. <laughs> 1 3. I'm so good at this today. <laughs> <laughs> you guys good? <laughs> I'm hovering around sixth, fifth, sixth, fifth. I'm like, well, I can keep doing this and end up in the top five, maybe, you know. And then I hit a little stretch and had some good quality on it and caught quite a few. And I think I'm in, am I in second. I think I'm in second, somewhere in there. It's changing so fast because the weights are so tight. So now the sun just popped out. So now I'm going to rerun everything I just fished see if some more some more slid in because it should bring some fish to these docks and I was going to go offshore because the clouds were clouds were pretty thick it's pretty dark out but then the sun popped out so now I'm going I'm to rerun these docks and see what happens I got a little offshore spot I might hit at the very end to see if we can't catch teal but 
right now these docks I'm, I'm closing the gap with the docks so hopefully I can I'm fishing you with water though I mean everybody everybody up here is fishing docks and I'm fishing behind everybody and I'm fishing behind myself so I just gotta hope to God I can find a few that few that just slid in that I can catch no, I'm just trying to fish everything that's fishy shade pockets on the bank everything doesn't matter Real. Yep. Just fished this dock a half an hour ago. Might be small right there, oh. oh! Three pounder! God dang it, man, it's two in a row. I just lost six pounds of bass there on my dock. Oh! God! Let's go talk about it. Let's go talk about it. 115. We're closer. Hi, we would be uh be ahead pretty good right now if I could. Want to be breaking fish off and losing fish. And All right, it's going to be kind of our last final hour update. Right behind me, we've got Aaron Teal. He's actually in first place right now. He's got about 64 12. Right behind him is Noah Schultz with 61 10. It's close. It's close. It's one fish at this point. Yep, yep. We believe that in the next hour, whoever makes the quickest adjustment will probably win this tournament. But there's Tyler Barr is still right there too. He slipped a little bit. He's in third place right now. But he's still within but two he's fish. Still, yeah, exactly, oh. two fish. So a lot's gonna happen. The sun's finally broke. Adjustments are gonna be made. Decisions will be made and something's gonna happen. So it's gonna be really interesting this last hour. And no one will know, in my opinion, yes. the last five, 10 minutes. And, and I think that's exactly it. That there's gonna be an adjustment made due to the sun and the conditions that somebody's gonna land on something for that last half hour or so. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's gonna be really fun to watch. Yeah, so we got the lead with an hour left and we got the biggest stone cold killer, Noah Schultz, behind us. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty nervous, um, but try not to even think about it. We're just trying to keep our head in the game and focus on that next bite. And we're gonna get it. Work too hard to get, get here. We need it. We need it bad. We need it real bad. Big, I'll take him. I almost lost that one. I couldn't get my hand on my reel. One six. Yep. Took the lead, huh? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Tell me if that takes the lead or not. Uh, Teal probably caught two more. Yeah, I'm I have three ounces. <laughs> he ain't done though. Neither are the guys below me. Never, ever, ever in a million years that I think I'd be doing this. Fishing docks and be in the lead. Four. Yep. They need to get bigger. Last pat, last pat through here, they're all two and a half, two pounders. They're getting smaller. They're getting less frequent and smaller. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Scared me a flash 15 for a second. I thought she wasn't gonna go. Oh man, do we stay? Do we go? Do we stay? Do we go? Do we stay? Do we go? Again? Yeah, he's at 67. 
We're out. We're out? Yeah, we're taking our lead back. Let's go. Wait, did he take the lead? Yeah, well he's at the lead. Okay, yep. Or you're at whatever you were at. Time to close it down. Yep, big one. That's a garlic bass on the tube. Picture. Wait. Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, my God. We just got our lead back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Fine. Oh, my goodness. My heart is beating so fast. Oh. Yes, the banger's got one too. The clock cannot go fast enough. Good job. Alright, how are you feeling with your two pound lead, 15 minutes left? Not good. Not good at all. Need more? Yeah. I got about a 10 pound lead, but... I lost two fish back to back. I ain't lost a fish all day. I lose two back to back in the same dock. So I'm not feeling good at all. I got 15 minutes and that's a long time. That's a lot of cast for teal. And it's a lot of flips for me too. These fish are replenishing for me. I don't know what teal's doing, but I imagine he's fishing offshore. So he could easily just find a little lot of them and Crossing my fingers, man. Oh, yeah. One, one? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, it ain't much, man, but right now it's everything. He'll catch one more now. Want to give me an update? Because if he's past me, I'm, I, I gotta run back to that. Let's do dock. Down there. Let's go update after this. 